Welcome back. Joining us now is In Focus Health correspondent Lino Madu. What do you have for us today, Lino? Well, today it's a story of hope. The number of acid attacks against women in growing, is growing in many South Asian nations. But the crime that causes human skin to melt is not limited to Asia or to women. A Liberian man who was the victim of a surprise attack almost two years ago is recovering at a Baltimore, Maryland hospital. VOA's Linda Ringe reports on his long, often miraculous medical journey. Carol Pearson narrates this package contains graphic images. It might be difficult for some people to watch. Henry Cole has lost count of how many times he's been wheeled into surgery. In the last two years, Cole has had more than a dozen procedures. And there are more to come, but he has no complaints. The Lord has been pissing him away with treatment. I always met the good doctors. I always met the good counselors to talk to me. I always met good nurses. And I always met good friends. When VOA first met Cole in the spring of 2012, he wore a mask to help heal his facial wounds. But the emotional trauma that led him on this journey was still fresh. I'll tell you the truth. At first, when I saw my face back in Liberia, I never wanted to continue living. Monrovia, Liberia, where Cole was the police traffic commander. In April of 2011, he was the victim of an attack that seemed to come out of nowhere in the middle of the night. Only to come, come up from sleep with a shock that some liquid was wasted on my chest and immediately was wasted, it started to burn. The liquid was acid, poured on by an intruder who is yet to be found. This was what I came up to. But the acid entered in my nose, in my mouth, and in my ear. Then I cried out for help. Cole was taken to a local hospital. For two weeks I was there. My condition was not improving. My condition was getting worse because I was in pain. Cole credits his faith with this will to live. <sighs> but after some time in counseling, I got to know that there's a God who watches over us and preserves our lives. And so I still have a second chance of living. And so I must carry on, yes. With the help of friends, Cole left Liberia for America, ending up at Johns Hopkins Burn Center in Baltimore, Maryland. It'd be good for you to get a, have a break. His doctors remember the first time they saw him. Literally just walked into the office and asked for help. His chest, abdomen, arms were all scarred. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dad. And that began the long process of creating Henry Cole's new face. A face transformed bit by bit. One of the first things we did in the first operation was to make him a nostril on the left side. It's very similar to building a building. And for a burn patient, the canvas is their skin. So we covered it with what we, we call aloe graft, which is cadaver skin. So we can leave this on for a week. We take it off before it becomes rejected. And then what we used in this case was a material called Integra. It's a synthetic material. And then after three weeks, we can peel off the top layer and we can take some skin from a different part of his body that isn't burnt. And we use that to cover Cole already feels blessed, thanks to the doctors who showed him his new face for the first time. He was in the tub room, and I asked him if he wanted to see his face. <laughs> as soon as the bloody mirror, I look at it. And then he reaches up, and he's got a tear coming out of his eye. I sprung on her and gave her a big hug. He apparently liked it. <laughs> and when he sees his former self, he's confident that he's well on his way. I'm not far from being like this. <laughs> I'm very close. But in the meantime, Henry Cole is starting to enjoy his life again. Now, I'm happy. For the Africa Health Network, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News. And joining us via phone from Maryland, outside Washington, D.C., is uh, Mr. Henry Cole. Mr. Cole, welcome to the show. Thank you. 
And you've had more than 12 surgery in the past two years. Did the doctor tell you how many more you have to undergo until it's all final? Uh, no, no, he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. So it's an ongoing process? Yes, uh, we are continuing. Okay, so what is your treatment regimen like on a daily basis in between procedures? Well, I'm just uh, I'm waiting for the recovery. Uh, in the morning, I rub the necessary lotion to help release some of the tightness from my face and other parts of the body. Just rub the lotions to release some of the tightness because I'm a person suffering from keylog. Keylog is a type of ingrowing skin uh, that comes on the body whenever there is wound. So I'm just at home trying to you know, rub some lotion and and get rid of the, 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 the technique. Okay. In the beginning, you talk about the fact that it was very painful. Uh, how does it feel now? Do you still feel a lot of pain? No, no, no. no. Uh, so far, uh, there is comfort. Uh, both of those pains are gone away because those pains that I felt from the beginning was the pressure of the assistant in my system because immediately the incident took place, the thing went all in my you know, the, the, the under part of my skin and begin to cause some damages. So that was the cause of, this, of the pain. But I got some medication. Uh, the pain so sorry and uh, glory be to God. And uh, Mr. Cole, most burn victims have to deal with the change of physical appearance. How do you deal with yours? Well, on a daily basis, I learned to cook with it uh, because as I improve, the look from people begin to change because at first, when I want to go all the way to the shopping center, the, you find people staring at me, and I know with amazement. But now I I feel that there's a little improvement, and so the look from people's faces it gives the expression that you know things are getting online. Thank God. And uh, you you say thank God. What keeps you going? Is it your faith or the support that you're receiving? I got burns from my stomach up to my face. That is the the. the the chemical waste from my stomach, from my chest, the middle part of my chest, and flies to my face because I was lying flat on my back. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Cole, thank you so much for joining us today, and we wish you all the best and a good recovery. You are welcome. God is great. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and development, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com. What a story. Back to you guys. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Lino. And be sure to watch for Lino Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa right here on In Focus.